sizes, I would give variations, etc. All right, lovely people. So let's start as we always do in our seated posture of choice. Sitting nice and tall, find a lovely tall spine and we're just going to connect with our breath. So first thing in the morning, just feeling that sort of natural rhythm of the breath, taking a deep inhalation. Then we're going to take a controlled exhale through the mouth. And this is the breath we want to use throughout our class. So deep breath in again, big exhale. And one more there, really dropping the shoulders, lengthening the neck, anchoring down through the tailbone, deep breath in and exhale. Lovely guys. Bring your hands, interlace your fingers in towards the center of your chest. Take another deep breath here. And then as you exhale, start to push the hands forward and gently take a curve, pushing your spine back behind you, kind of hollowing out your core here. And then we're gonna press the arms out to the side. Take a really strong press out to the side and then take them behind you now. And then we're gonna interlace our fingers behind us and gently open up through the chest. So we're stretching in sort of three areas here. Bring your hands back to the center, take a deep breath in. Exhale, push the hands forward, push the back behind you, sort of like a cat and cow position. And then we open nice and wide, like we're moving through some space here. Take the arms behind you, interlace your fingers and push the chest forward as you stretch the arms back. One more time, deep breath in, arms into the chest. Exhale, push. Open the arms nice and wide. Find that space, hands behind you, open the chest. Take a gaze up, feel a nice stretch with the head here. Just take a gentle head nod to the right and to the left. And then exhale, release your hands. Nicely done, guys. We're gonna shuffle our legs around and come down onto our back now. So just make your way down onto your mat, just rolling down through your spine. As you arrive, cross your ankles and hug your knees into your chest. So taking like a little rock here, as we usually do, we want to just open up that lower back. Take a few rounds of breath here and then take your other ankle on top. So sort of the less comfortable cross and the same thing. Just take a nice little rock from side to side. Just enjoying a little bit of a relax into that lower back. And then we're going to bring our knees to touch. Take your arms out to your T position and then gently drop your knees to the left side of your mat. Let them fold down here and then take your gaze towards your right hand. So we're getting a lovely twist there. Feeling that opposite shoulder really anchoring down. One more breath and then gently draw the knees back up to table. Find a nice center posture and then gently drop them to the second side. And same thing here, we want to anchor down through that opposite shoulder. So it's our left shoulder this time that we want to anchor down into the mat, feeling that nice twist. Keeping the alignment in the upper body helps us release the back. One more deep breath and then gently draw your legs back up to table. Press your hands down and we're gonna warm our core up. So really drawing our abdominals in, finding a nice strong abdominal wall here. We take our left toe, tap it down towards the floor and exhale, lift. Good, inhale, right toe taps down and exhale, lift. Just simple toe taps to start. Just warming up those abs, keeping a nice gentle pace to find precision with our core. Good, deep breaths. Excellent, guys. We've got one more each side. Deep breath in and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Nice. Now we're gonna keep that position. We're gonna open our knees wide now. So we're coming into like a little frog position. And then our arms are gonna go back behind our head and we're just gonna come slightly off the floor. So a slight engagement of our upper body core. Deep breath in, right toe outside of the foot sort of taps towards the floor now. And exhale. Inhale, left side. And exhale. Now we're gonna drop both down, take a deep breath in, and then exhale, squeeze to lift. Good. Left side starts this time. And we lift. Inhale and exhale. 
and both drop down watch that you don't let your your core go there good we've got one more set deep breath in and exhale inhale very nice work and exhale and one more there deep breath in exhale knees together and draw the knees in nicely done guys give your knees a really tight squeeze and a gentle little rock from left to right very good work everyone nice so we're going to move straight into our roll-ups now so send your legs out nice and long make sure that you've got space at the bottom of your mat and space behind you to extend your arms we're going to take our lovely deep breath in and then on a strong exhale we sit up nice and tall and we find a lovely tall seat open the arms really really wide like we did at the start of class taking them slightly behind you to open through the front of the chest and then curl forward find that c curve as you roll down through your spine curling back through your abdominals one section at a time now we're not going to do too many of these today so really focus on each one being your absolute best deep breath in really lengthen the chest engage this lower abdominal area and strong exhale to sit up nice and tall find that lovely tall spine big circle slightly reaching the arms back to open through the chest good and then curl forward excellent Deep breath in and then lowering down through the spine with control. Keep curling through the abdominals, really squeezing out as much slowest pace as possible. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And then reaching back. Final one to sit up. Find that deep inhalation. Draw that belly button in. And then exhale to sit up nice and tall. Find the tall spine. Open the arms nice and wide. And now we're going to come over onto our side. Nicely done, guys. Lovely. So just find yourself into your sideline now. So ease down onto one side. As always for sideline, you can support the neck or if you prefer, you can lie all the way down. It's completely up to you. We're gonna start with our clams. So feet are together, knees are slightly forward. We're gonna have our feet in line with our bottom and top hand is just pressing down just to watch our alignment here. So we're squeezing our top knee back, keep our feet connected and exhale, ease down. Good, deep breath in, we push that knee out and exhale, lower. Good, just a couple more simple ones like this, just focusing on the shapes. So a lot of Pilates is about making different positions and shapes and how we do it is how we start to tone the muscles in the right way. Good, deep breath in, exhale, nice. And you're rocking to the top of the thigh into that elevated clam posture and ease it down. We squeeze that knee back and ease it down. Good, deep breath in and exhale. Inhale, push, and exhale. Good, two more, really nice work, guys. Keep squeezing your glute here, squeezing that glute. Nice, nice, nice. Good, now we're gonna add that développe. So we push the knee up, we stretch the top leg, we bend the top leg and ease it down. Now just be careful, it is first thing in the morning, so no strain on your hamstring. If you can't quite stretch the knee yet, don't worry. Just come to where you can. Maybe it's here, maybe it's fully extended. Just listening to your body first thing in the morning. Good, deep breath and stretch and down. One more like that, deep breath and stretch and bend and down. Very nice work. Now keep that top leg lifted, send that top leg out long and flex your foot and turn your toes down towards the floor. So we're just tapping those toes down and stretch it up. Good. So we're not coming up too high with this one, sort of just halfway. That's it. Keeping the back of that knee really straight. We're doing this turned in position to try and switch off our quads here. We don't want to use our quads. We want to use the back of our legs. Those strong muscles that run down the back of our leg. Good. For three two, one more there. Good, now hold it, turn it back parallel, point your foot and draw some tiny little baby circles. 
So kind of on the end of the mat back there on that wall, join those tiny little circles. And then reverse your little circles around the other direction. Good, good, good. Couple more deep breaths there. Nice. Now you're going to hold that leg out. Hold it out nice and strong. You're going to push yourself up now. So we're coming up onto that forearm, yeah? Taking the same arm as leg, you're going to reach it over your head. You're going to take a deep breath in. On the exhale, you're going to push the mat away and bring yourself up to tap your leg and then exhale, ease down. Now this one is a tricky one. You can also do it with a bent knee is a little bit of an easier option. So we're gonna do three more. Deep breath in, exhale, push, and ease it down. Deep breath in, exhale, push, and ease it down. We have one more, and exhale. We hold this one, find that nice strong position, and then exhale, ease it all the way down. Nicely done, guys, good. Taking now your side plank prep, so you can either stay with your hand down or make a fist. And we're going to have a few options, either on the knees or with the legs lengthened out long. So we take a deep breath in, exhale, we're going to push the mat away to find that side plank, pushing the torso up. Now I want you to think about your underneath area here, your waist area, pulling that up and lifting that top arm. Good, we take a little arm variation. So deep breath and we reach that arm off to the front corner of our mat and exhale, we lift it up. Good, deep breath in, nice smooth movement. And exhale, yeah, very nice, people I can see. Good, deep breath in and exhale. We're gonna hold it up here now, find that nice strong position, take one more very deep breath and then exhale, gently ease it down. Push yourself up and take a very quick stretch to release. Good job, guys. Nice. And we don't want to take too long to relax. We're going to go straight to the second side. So swing those legs around. And then just remembering whatever you did on the first side with your head, we want to do the exact same on the second side. So just if you were lying down, make sure you lie down. Or if you were pushing up like me, you're going to stay up. So feet are together, top hand is watching our alignment. We're pulling our tummy up off the mat, anchoring this core as our foundation of strength. We push that knee back and then exhale, ease down. Now, every time we do a clam, we wanna see how much further we can push that knee and how much more sort of strength we can get in our glutes here. Really using those muscles to absolute capacity. Good, 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 good. Deep breaths. And don't worry too much here. You want to have more of a natural breath pattern, but still try and exhale when you can through your mouth. Nice. Okay, we're going to move into that elevated posture. So thighs on the floor. We're lifting those legs to hover in space and lower. Good. Deep breath. We squeeze. And exhale. Keep drawing your belly in, strengthening that core. Good. Deep breath and lower, inhale, exhale, good, two more there, you've got it, keep breathing, nicely done, nicely done, good, 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 now we're going to take that extension, so we're going to take that leg up, we stretch the knee, we bend the knee and ease it down, good, deep breath in and we stretch, we bend, control the lower, Squeeze your bottom at the top, really squeeze the back of the knee there. Good, 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 good. Gonna take one more there, deep breath in, stretching, stretching, ease it down and lower. Nicely done, guys. Drop your underneath foot now, send that top leg out long, and we flex the toes, and we're gonna turn the toes down towards the mat here. We lower down and we push up. So we're in that little turned in position with our leg. Super weird, I know, but we want to keep focus on the back muscles. Good, nice straight legs. Nice, 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 nice. Good, even though we're chilling on the side, still pulling these abdominals in, really pulling this top part of our, the top part of our body, pulling up there. Good, just two more of these. 
Nice. Now turn your leg back parallel, point your foot so your knees facing directly to the front, and then we take those little circles. So tiny little mindful circles, one direction. Keep them really, really nice and neat. And then reverse your little circles, smooth little circles. That's it, good. Couple more like that. Nice, nicely done. And then holding that leg nice and strong, keep it lifted. Take your underneath arms up to push the mat away and we're gonna come into that tricky little lift. So we're gonna push ourselves up on our exhale. So deep breath in, top arm reaches away. And as we exhale, we push up off the floor. We lift the leg towards the hand and then exhale lower, deep breath in. Exhale, push up and inhale. Exhale, we push up. Good, 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 good. We've got one more of these, deep breath in. And exhale, we hold this one, find that nice strong position. And then exhale, ease it down. Nicely done, guys. Good. We're going to come straight into that side plank. So picking your variation, fist or hand, pulling up through that side body, knees down or knees stretched out long. Taking that deep breath in. Exhale to push up to find your side plank. We take those three sweeps off the mat. Deep breath in. And then exhale, draw the arm back up. Inhale, two. And exhale. Good, one more there, deep breath in. And exhale, now hold that position strong. Push the mat away, really pull up through that side body. Take one more deep breath. And then exhale, ease it down. Nicely done, guys. Just gently host yourself up. Take that little stretch over to the side. Take a very deep breath. Nice work, everyone. And then exhale back to center. Lovely work, okay. Final little thing we're going to do today is come up onto our knees. So if you've got sensitive knees and a hard floor, you may want to double your mat over. Um, mine is actually okay, so I don't need to. But if you need that little variation, you can double the mat. Come into one end of the mat, and then you're going to take your leg out to the side. So with this foot down here, you can have the foot sort of flat on the floor like this. You can also have it forward, and you can also have with the heel up. So just sort of pick whichever one feels more supportive. None of them are, all three of them are correct, yeah? I'm gonna take those arms out nice and wide, fingertips facing to the front. I'm just gonna move this way a tiny bit. Fingertips facing to the front. And we're gonna hinge away from that extended leg and then exhale, draw yourself up. Good, deep breath in, we hinge away from the extended leg and exhale. Now we're working our obliques here. We wanna find those side body muscles. Good, inhale, we reach, that's it, and exhale. Deep breath in, and exhale. We've got one more of those, really tipping that torso over. Nice, now the next one we're gonna stay down here, stay nice and low, and tiny little dips. Imagine there's a little pool of water down there at the bottom of your mat, you're just dipping that finger into the pool for five, four, three, two, one, now hold it down there. Bring that top hand down to join that underneath hand. Feel that squeeze in your abs and then draw it back up. Three more, deep breath in and exhale up. Good, inhale, two, exhale. We've got one more of these, really good work guys. Deep breath in, exhale, hold it down and draw the body up. Nicely done guys, very good. Take a stretch away from that lowered side, really breathe out, and then also take another stretch away the other direction, just reach out there, feeling that lovely stretch in that side body. Nicely done, let's do that on the second side. So just shuffle your way down to the other end of your mat. And guys, just be mindful, if you do feel this in your lower back, you need to think about tucking your hips a bit more. So it's kind of not comfortable to arch your lower back a little bit here, but try to lift the tailbone and draw those abs up and that will help protect your back if you're finding it any discomfort in your back. So hands are forward, nice, tall, straight body. Deep breath in, we're reaching away and then draw the body up. Good, deep breath in, tip the body over and then squeeze to lift. Good, that's it, deep breath in, hinge. 
and then squeeze to lift. Good. Inhale. We use the core to lift that body up. That's it. Deep breath, we lower. Exhale to lift. Good. Inhale. Exhale. Just two more like that. Deep breath in. And exhale. One more of those. Good. Now the next one we're going to stay down. We're going to take those tiny little dips down into that imaginary pool of water. Tiny little dips. Good. Lovely alignment. Good. Tiny squeezes. Use that body to pull that arm up. That's it. For three, for two, one. We hold it down there. The top arm's going to come down and join the bottom arm. Squeeze that core and exhale lift. Like you're squeezing through the abs to bring that arm down. And we lift. We've got two more of these. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And lift, beautifully done. We've got one more, squeeze it in, squeeze it in. And exhale, now hold it low, hold it there. And exhale, draw your body up, beautifully done guys. Take that side stretch away, little breath there. And then reach away from that leg. Have a nice stretch out there as well, just open through the body. Very good job guys, one more breath. And then coming around, we'll just take a very quick, little child's pose just to relax your back so drop your hip bottom to your heels send your arms forward and just take a deep breath in your child's pose we're going to do just a couple more exercises before we cool down so just relaxing in that position feel your lower back really relax a lot of energy in our lower back in a lot of those exercises it's difficult sometimes to not use that that area nice Okay, we're just going to finish off with a very traditional knee to chest exercise. Just such a good one for core control and balance, especially at the beginning of the day. So just finding your four point posture, find that nice four point posture. And remember, if this one gets too much, you can just do the leg or just the arm. Okay, so knees are touching chest over the hands, shoulders directly over the hands. We're going to take that right leg back behind us and extend our left arm forward. Deep breath in, just taking elbow to knee and exhale, reaching long. Good. Deep breath in, elbow to knee and exhale, reaching long. It's two more of those. Deep breath in, squeeze the abdominals. Lengthen the back. Good. One more deep breath in. And exhale, now hold it here, little pulses with the foot and the arm. Tiny pulses for five, four, three, two, one. Now hold it with your leg where it is and bring your hands down. Take your hands right to the edge of the mat and then tuck your underneath toes. We're going to do four chest push-ups. So deep breath in, we lower the body down and then exhale, we push up. Number two, inhale, lower the body down and exhale. Two more, deep breaths, exhale, push, nice and smooth. One more deep breath in, exhale, and bring that knee down. Beautifully done, guys. Push your bottom back, have a quick release. Have a very quick stretch there. One more deep breath, and then bring yourself up. We're gonna go straight to the second side. So keeping it nice and smooth. We want energy, but with a nice, smooth, sort of gentle movement. So we bring the knees to touch, and we're going to take that left leg back behind us this time. And right arm is reaching forward. Deep breath in, elbow to knee. And exhale, stretch it out. Good. Deep breath in, elbow to knee. Good. Exhale, extend. Two more times. Deep breath in, draw the belly in. Exhale, we lengthen. Nice. Deep breath in. And exhale, we hold it there. We find those little tiny pulses, tiny little lifts for five, four, three, two, one. Keep the leg where it is and then bring your hands right to the edge of the mat. We're going to tuck our underneath toe. Nice and smooth. Elbows are going wide as we lower the body down. And then exhale, smooth to push up. Deep breath in, we lower. And exhale, smooth to push up. Almost like you're moving in slow motion. And push. One more there, deep breath in. Push it up. And then exhale, release your knee down. Very good job, guys. Push back, have a child's pose. Have a very deep breath there. 
Well done, guys. Really nice job. All right, my lovelies, just swing your legs around, coming onto your bottom, and we'll do a quick stretch just to finish off the class. So taking your left leg out to the side, and then take your right leg, bend it in. So you're in like sort of a side position today. Sometimes we do the front one, but we're coming open to the side. So a little bit more of an open into our pelvis here. So just sitting up nice and tall, find a lovely tall spine, and then take the same hand as the extended leg, and then slide that across the floor. Take your other arm, and then just start to reach over. Now you may only come to here, that's absolutely fine. You can flex that top, uh, that extended leg and maybe come a little bit further down towards the foot. Wherever you've chosen to go, I want you to think about pushing down on that opposite hip so that we're really anchoring down there. Take one more very deep breath and then gently draw the body back up. Find that tall seat. Then you're going to twist your body over the leg now and you're going to slide down and stretch over that leg relaxing the head down again making sure this back hip is staying pressing down take one more breath here and then gently walk through the center so you're coming down into the center now relax the head then walk all the way around to the other knee that's it and then gently roll up good Take the same hand as the bent knee now, press down into the mat, and you're just gonna lift your hips up and take a gentle little back bend. So it's just to open our hip flexors, little back bend, take one more deep breath, and gently circle down. Good, and we'll switch sides. So bend your other knee in now, and take your other leg out to the side, and really making sure you're sitting nice and square, on your tailbone. Think of both sides of your bottom really pressing into the floor. Same hand as the extended leg comes to the floor, other arm reaches up and we slide over to that side stretch. Maybe staying here, coming a little bit further down, just wherever you can. We take a deep breath. Good, good, good. And then gently draw the body up. And then we're going to twist the torso over that front leg and we're going to slide down over for our forward fold here. Relax the body, relax the head. And then gently walk your way through the center. Again, relax the head here. And then over to the other knee. That's it. One more breath there. Gently pushing yourself up and then we're going to take the same hand as that bent leg down to the floor and just take that little open into the chest, just pushing the hips up, stretching into that hip flexor, opening the back and then very gently ease it down. Good. All right, my lovelies, let's finish off with our little neck circles and then into our breaths. Very, very good work today, guys. Well done. So just sitting nice and tall as you did at the start of class and then just closing down the eyes. Take a few big circles of your head to the right. Let the neck completely relax. Really relaxing through the side, front and back of the throat. And then round the other way. Again, just really nice, gentle circles. Good. And then we're going to finish with those three deep breaths. So reaching the arms up, taking lots of energy, lots of positive vibes. Big exhale. Two more deep breaths. Big exhale. And last one, really deep breath in. Big exhale. And you're done. Very good job, my lovelies.